Have a nice day everyone. Hello grade 5. I am Teacher Dex and welcome to our math class. In today's video, we will be discuss about finding the percentage in a given problem. Listen carefully and watch the video attentively so that you can do easier your activity sheets. Here are the points to remember in finding the percentage. Percentage which is defined as the product of the rate and the base. Example, Tisa went to Amor to check the sale on the selected items. She was able to buy blouse marked at 190 pesos. If the blouse sale at 25% less the price, how much is the discount? This is the formula in finding the percentage. P is equal to R times B. And the solution is P is equal to 25% times 890 pesos. Then we will rewrite 25% to decimal form. So P is equal to 2500 times 890 pesos. So the percentage is 220 and 50 centavos. So the discount is 220 and 50 centavos. Let's now proceed to our lesson and start to discuss in finding the percentage in a given problem. Example, what is 53% of 185? First, we write the given numbers into vertical way. Then we simplify the given numbers or factors like you are multiplying whole numbers. Let us multiply the first digit of multiplier which is 3. So 3 times 5 is equal to 15. Regroup 1 and put in the upper second digit of multiplicand. Then 3 times 8 is 24 plus 1 is equal to 25. Regroup 2 and put in the last upper digit of multiplicand. Then 3 times 1 is 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. The next thing to do, let us multiply also the second digit of multiplier which is 5. So 5 times 5 is equal to 25. Regroup 2 again in the upper second digit of multiplicand. Then 5 times 8 is 40 plus 2 is equal to 42. Then regroup 4 to the last upper digit of multiplicand. 5 times 1 is 5 plus 4 is equal to 9. Then let us add. Bring down 5. Then 5 plus 5 is 10. Regroup 1 to the next upper digit, then 5 plus 2 is 7, plus 1 is equal to 8, then bring down 9. Transfer our answer in the left side. Then let us count the number of decimal places in the multiplier factors. 1, 2. So there are two decimal places. Therefore, we will put two decimal places in our product. Let's count from right to left. 1, 2. Then place the decimal point. Therefore, the product is 98 and 500. So, the 53% of 185 is 98 and 500. Always remember that in finding the percentage, just multiply the rate and the base. P is equal to R times B. You can write in vertical way and multiply the given numbers in the multiplicand and multiplier. Like multiplying the whole numbers and get the product. Then count the number of decimal places of the given numbers in the multiplier. To determine the number of decimal places of the product, then put or apex the decimal point in the product. This ends our lesson for quarter 3, week 2, about finding the percentage of a given problem. I hope you enjoyed the lesson and easy to answer the activities in your activity sheets. Until next time, 
Goodbye.